Hi everybody, I haven't posted on YouTube for some time and that's because I'm in solid book production, have been for quite a while, I've just finished off two and about to start two more. So I just wanted to say hi and let you know that I got a lovely big book delivery, mostly adult titles uh, that I think you'll love and some kind of can cross over into kids I guess, but I just had to share them in the hope that they will inspire you to either get online or even if you're fortunate enough to be able to get into a bookstore and buy up something. So how about we just get into it, I'll show you what I bought and uh, hopefully you'll find a treasure here. The first is The Genius of Birds and this is written by Jennifer Ackerman. It's published by Corsair and uh, it was a Sunday Times uh, Nature Book of the Year and I just have a real fascination with birds. I adore them. Of course, I've written a book about birds. Ah, Ivy Bird uh, with Jess Rackleft as illustrator and I just have um, such an affection for them. They're so magical, so intelligent, so varied. Of course, they're direct lineage to dinosaurs, which makes them even more special. Uh, but this just looks absolutely fascinating, and it's just about the curiosities, the way birds think, the way they act, how they're able to navigate home, all of these fascinating things. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be so much fun, I know it. The next one is Jonas Jonathan Swift. His Life and His World by Leo Damrosch, and this is by Yale University Press. Ah, oh, doesn't it look scrumptious? This is actually a National Book Critics uh, Circle, Critics Circle Award, um, the winner. And yeah, I, I've long been fascinated with him. He had such an incredibly um, rich and unusual and sometimes controversial life and this book focuses on the man as well as his works so yeah I'm I'm really looking forward to it and just on the back um, it says from a master biographer and a leading scholar of 18th century literature comes an award-winning new portrait of the greatest um, uh, satirist in the English language so it looks really fascinating need 20 more hours in the day but anyway Another biography, this one is called Renoir, an intimate biography. This is published by one of my favourites, Thames and Hudson, and it's written by Barbara Ehrlich White. Look at that divine cover and also the back cover, beautiful dust jacket. And of course, inside we're treated to some imagery, not only of his work, but also some um, interesting snapshots like photographs from his life. Um, here's one here of a letter. And uh, yeah, and again, one of my favourite favorite people and favourite artists and I'm just really intrigued to learn more about his life and of course I love the period that he lived in as well, so it's going to be a real journey back in time. Very excited about that one. The next one, also excited about, this is the RHS Secrets of Great Bot Botanists. I can't speak today. And what they teach us about gardening. This is by Matthew Biggs and it's published by Mitchell Beasley. It looks glorious. It's got a beautiful cover, gorgeous design, has that lovely sort of foiling here on the title. Uh, inside it has some fabulous luminaries um, of, uh, of the gardening and botany world. Um, from uh, goodness here, William Turner, Mary Somerset, Luther Burbank, William Stern, um, Nikolai Vav uh, Vavilov, Georgia Malloy. There's a real raft of incredible people included in the book. And as you move through, there are these extra special treats along the way, inspiration for gardeners. And then we come across the biographies. Look how beautifully presented of these phenomenal people. And I have a you know, a true love of gardening and a true fascination with how plants have moved from, uh, you know, their origins to where they've ended up and how they've morphed and changed um, over time and, of course, how plants used to move around the world at great speed before we put our borders in place, no? So uh, this is going to be a fascinating read. You're going to love this next one. Oh, my God. Oh, Writers, Their Lives and Works. I had not even seen this book. It's a DK book and I adore DK uh, books. Gorgeously produced, of course, as you can imagine. 
and it's chronological. So it starts with the, where are we? Pre 19th century, so going back a long, 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 long way. And then uh, early 19th, late 19th, early 20th, mid 20th, and then writing today. And uh, they, oh gosh, who they're covering is extraordinary. So the modern writers include John Updike, Tony Morrison, Alice uh, Munro, um, Aaron Dutty Roy, um, uh, Peter Carey, Isabella Allende, um, Mo Yan, you know, really interesting lineup of writers, and of course, all of the classics. Um, from earlier times as well but beautifully produced as you can imagine look so those lovely uh, images and then snippets of text that you know don't make for a really really heavy reading it's just basically an outline of these incredible writers I've just seen Maya Angelou on the back um, Geoffrey Chaucer you know these are people we've all known about for our whole lives but we probably don't know much about necessarily so I'm really interested in diving in and and learning more about these incredible people looks gorgeous that might be tonight's book the next one is the evolution of type and this is a graphic guide to 100 landmark type landmark type faces it's a five light book five fly I've not heard of them before and it's uh, examining letters from metal type to open type by Tony Seddon, forward, forward by Stephen Coles. I really can't speak today. This looks like it was just written for moi. I just adore, adore typography, typesetting, typeface. It's always fascinated me. I love that they're covering the type anatomy, how type is formed. And I also love how they go through the origins of type into, um, so origins of movable type all the way through line of type and pixel perfect into modern day um, uh, digital type. This is going to be a fascinating book to read through. It also has the dates that these particular fonts were created, by whom. Oh, it's just, this is going to be a heavenly book to peruse. And the last one is called this. Oh, this is, again, this was made for me, but kids will love this too. Another DK book, Smithsonian Timelines of Everything. Oh, could you imagine explore 13 billion years of history from the Big Bang to our own digital age? Look at the back cover. Heavenly. And inside, typical beautiful design by the glorious people at DK, who so many of them are involved in creating these books. Oh, prehistory. Oh, I just love this. I love books like this. I love history books. So this is prehistory, and then it goes on to the story of the universe. And I love this next spread in particular. This is Life on Earth, so they've done it as a portrait page. Purely, pure fascination. I mean, this is just absolute joy. Goes on to human ancestors, um, agriculture, the timeline of towns and cities, the written word, you know, from cuneiform onwards. I mean, it's just, oh, golly, fun and games. So the history, the timeline of games and, you know, like when, did, when, when were dominoes first created? You might be surprised. Uh, and I also love how they've, done it not necessarily linearly so this is more of a round um, cyclical sort of spread um, about uh, jewellery and the timeline of jewellery creation and from ancient Greece I mean come on the destruction of Pompeii medieval Europe oh it's just this is just pure pure heaven the British Empire I mean really lovely thick heavy gorgeous gorgeous book and again that's DK so there you go. That's my latest uh, acquisitions. And I also had some children's book to, books delivered recently. So what I'm going to do is do another video very soon. And I hope to do some uh, catch-ups. Things have been a little bit cray-cray. Uh, All right. Uh, happy reading, everyone. Get out and buy some books and keep our industry coursing along. Okay. Bye for now.